this game is going to work today. Uh, I will help you out as much as I can. I'm on your side, all right? I got to get a workout in. Um, I haven't been able to run because my knees feel like Sarah's, and my new running shoes aren't going to come in until Thursday. Uh, so you got these options, three of a kind, four of a kind, full house, small straight, large straight, and Yahtzee. All right, so we're going to start out with old Adam Levin. Adam, take the dice and roll it. All right. All right, so you've got one, two, three, a four, and a six. Now, Adam, what would you like to keep of that? Wait, how many do I keep? So you can keep as many as you want. You've got a one, a two, a three, and a four. That's four in a row, which is your small straight. And you also have this six. So what do you want to do? So the first four. Then. Okay, you're going to keep the first four and roll the six. Okay. All right, roll the six. All right, you got a four again. You get one more roll. Uh. All right, you got a six, but the good news is that you did get the small straight. Now, what was the small straight exercises? All right, the small straight exercises are what's called kick throughs. So you guys only have to do 10, but I have to do 20 of them. So find some space on the ground. I'll demonstrate the exercise. All right, you're going to be on all fours. All right, to kick through, you're going to push your foot out, and then rotate back through. All right? So you guys have 10 of those. I have 20. Ready, set, go. So you're going from one side to the other. I lost count. I'll do four more. Two, three, and four. All right. Good job. Next up, we got Sarah. Sarah, roll the dice. All right, Sarah, you've got one, two, three, four again. Would you like to keep those and go for the large straight? All right, one, two, three, four. All right, here's your six. You can roll it. It's a three. All right, roll it one more time. It's a five. She got it. One, two, three, four, five. That's your large straight. So you guys have 15 burpees, but I have 30. All right. 30. All right, 15. Ready? Go. I lost count. Anybody know what number I'm on? 15? Yeah, that sounds good. All right, I've got like five more. Two more. Come on, where's the push up? Oh, those were no push up burpees. <laughs> All right. Pulaski. You're next. All right, roll the dice, Pulaski. Pulak, you just rolled a full house. Do you want to keep that or do you want to go?
go for something different. I can't, I can't hear you. You're muted. I'm going to keep it. All right. Now, you get two more rolls. You could go for Yahtzee since you already have three have of one number. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's take a group poll. Should Pulak go for Yahtzee since she has three twos, or should she just keep the full house? Go for Yahtzee. Keep the full house. Yahtzee. I don't understand what's going on. Yahtzee. Who said that? Who doesn't understand? Me, because I like join. <laughs> You get the mute. Oh, to do. This is stressful. <laughs> All right, Pulak, it's your decision. Full house or go for Yahtzee? I'll go full house. All right. She's going full house. That's a safe bet. But it also puts the pressure on somebody else to get it now. That was 20 lunges. So you guys have 10. I have 20 oh, lunges. Bad. I thought it was going to be like push up. All right, good job. Next up, we're going Pegley Wegley. All right, here we go, Pegley. Roll the dice. Uh-oh, they froze at a really bad moment. Okay, now they're back. Give it a roll. All right, we'll take that as a roll. All right, Pegley, you've got three threes and then a four and a two. What would you like to do? Hold on. You're muted. I can't hear you. Roll the four and two. You want to roll the four and the two. All right, give it a roll. Yahtzee! Yahtzee, three threes. All right, the Yahtzee was 100 jumping jacks. So you guys have 50 jumping jacks. I've got 100. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Go Coach Tyler. Because you all do not see. I do. <laughs> Finish strong. And hundred. All right. Ashley, you're up. Ashley, give it a roll. All right, good roll. You've got two ones and two fours. All right, all you guys have left is three of a kind and four of a kind. What would you like to do? I don't know. Okay, who's unmuted right now? Will, you have two ones, 
two fours and a six. What would you like to keep? Uh, I'll keep the two ones. All right, two ones. All right, Ashley, roll. All right, you got a six, a five, and a two. Are you going to keep anything? Okay, good. That would have been a terrible idea. All right, one last roll. Oh, you got nothing. All right, do you guys have 30 push-ups? 30 push-ups, and I have zero. Joke's on you guys. Take that. Your nose to touch the ground. Lily Levin. Put your foot on Adam's back right now. I know Lily's in that room right now. Lily, you make sure Adam's honest. He's got 30. Good work. 30, as long as it takes. Good work. Keep it up. Oh, it was a quiet place the other night. Actually, the other morning, I, I had the baby. The baby was sleeping, and I was letting Elspeth take a nap. That's a good movie. Has anybody seen it? Quiet place? No. Pretty good. Pretty good. Also, it was yesterday morning. I was changing baby Eleanor's diaper, and I'd cleaned her all up. I'd taken off one diaper, and I was just about to put the other diaper on. I was reaching over for it, and all of a sudden, something warm and wet hits my arm, and she had projectile poop all over the place. I, I, I kid you not, my wife and I measured it. It traveled four and a half feet. What? It, yes. This is why I never want a kid. Yes. Okay, this is why I tell you guys these stories. <laughs> so, so there was no warning. There was no noise associated with this uh, volatile, eruptive poo. But no lie, four and a half feet, this poo traveled in the air. All right? It hit my arm and splattered against the wall. It got on her basket that put her diaper stuff in. Oh my gosh, it was a mess. And then my wife put on her diaper later that day, and baby Eleanor pooed all over her arm. So it was vengeance, instant justice, because she laughed at me. Um, all right, let's see. You still have to get three of a kind or four of a kind. So Elena, roll the dice. All right, Elena, you've got three threes, all right? Would you like to roll for a fourth three? Sure. Okay. All right, you got a two and a four. Would you like to roll again? Yes. That would be wise. You got a six and a five, but you got three of a kind, which is 30 push-ups. So you guys have 15 push-ups. I have 30, all right? You guys have 50. Oh, how the turntables. <laughs> <laughs> nice office quote. Comedy king. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm bleeding. Okay. Oh. Very good. All right, now we got to go for four of a kind to finish it off. Who do I got next? Victoria. You got to get four of a kind, girl. Roll. All right. You got two ones. Do you want to keep that? 
Yeah. She wants to keep the two more rolls. All right, Victoria. You got three one. One more roll. You got nothing. Forty squats. Forty squats. Go ahead and go. Sarah, you do your clamshells. Twenty on each side. Wait, what are we doing? You guys are doing forty squats. Good job. Sophia, how did it feel to be the first video on the Instagram? Great. I Good. love this. It's amazing. Yeah, you earned it. We talked to we talked about it in our meeting last night. Thank you. Yep. We were talking about uh, I don't know, athleticism or something. <laughs> All right, 40 squats. Avitha, you're going to be up next. We'll wait for everybody to finish. Uh, Pegley, you look like, uh, I, and I don't mean this, I don't mean this referring to your stature, but you look like an Oompa Loompa while doing those squats because you were going from like side to side. You're like, mm. Mm. It was pretty awesome. I, I had music playing in my head as you were doing that. All right, Avita. Give it a roll. Oh. All right, I'll roll for Avita. All right, Avita, you have two, or sorry, you have two fours. I'm guessing you want to keep that. Okay. Yes, Avita wants to keep the two fours. All right, here you go. Avita, you have three fours now. You get one more roll. But you have to actually grab the dice and roll it. All right, there we go. You got nothing. 40 squats. Ready. Go. I love this game. 40 squats. Adam, Adam, tell Lily to jump on your back while you do these squats. All right, good job. Make sure to sink your hips down. Drop your hips below your knee line. Very good. Good job, Witterins. Good job, Pulak. Pulak, that's really good. Sophia, good. Good job, Sonica. Good job, Gav Gav. Good job, Decoy. Good job, Dylan. Evan, sink those hips. There you go. All right. Evan, you are up, Brohemoth. All right, give it a roll. All right. You've got three ones, a three, and a six. What would you like to do? He's talking to me, but he's muted. All right, go ahead. Uh, keep the three ones. All right, keep the three. All right, I'm just kidding. All right, here you go, roll. All right. Son of a gun. You got a fourth one. Good job. Four of a kind. So you guys now have 20 squats, and I have... 40. All right. You guys have 20 squats. I have 40. Ready, set, go. Good job. I'm 
tired of doing this. All right. <laughs> Who did that? Dylan. Is that you? Oh, Evan. Evan, touche, man. Touche. All right. So, very good job with that. I got a little bit of a workout, too, for that. Um, so, let's talk the coming week as soon as my catch – as soon as I catch my breath. So, Sarah, teach us something about swimming while I take a few breaths. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know. Drink, drink maple syrup and you'll swim better. Ah. Ooh. Okay. Maple syrup is the key. Maple syrup is good. Uh, my wife put maple syrup in her smoothies last night. It was good. All right, um, so this week, there we go. All right, so this week, uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, we have a Zoom video conference or a Q&A with Sarah Henry. So you should see an email from Coach Megan about that with the link to the Zoom meeting. Um, this is really cool because Sarah Henry is a former RSA swimmer. She swam for Texas A&M. While she was a swimmer at RSA, she qualified for the Olympic trials. So she's an Olympic trials qualifier. I want to say that she finished as high as seventh place in the 400 IM at Olympic trials. So she finaled, which is incredible. Uh, she's also a national champion for Texas A&M in the 400 IM. So that's pretty legit. And she won the 400 IM after tearing her second ACL, which is remarkable. <laughs> so to tear your ACL two times um, and then come back and still swim at an elite level. She competed at the World University Games, uh, which is, you know, that's getting really to be like the elite of the elite. So make sure to be in on that tomorrow. That'll be really cool to learn from her and be prepared with a question to ask her. So there's that. On Saturday, there is a nutrition Q&A, um, or not really a Q&A, but a Q&A plus a presentation. So I think her name is uh, Dana, I believe. She's presented at RSA once before, and I think it was really well received. I didn't get to be, on it, be in on it because I was coaching. Um, but that is on Saturday, so that will be something really good to check out, um, especially in this time when we're not swimming, we're not burning, you know, so many calories of practice, but also preparing ourselves for when we get back into the pool and we are burning all of those calories. How do we prepare our bodies to run like a high performance machine, right? You guys are not uh, like, what's a terrible car? You guys are not like a Hummer. You can't drive like 20 miles and then you run out of fuel, right? You guys are like Ferraris. You're not efficient vehicles. You expend a lot of calories, but you don't put regular fuel in a Ferrari, right? A Ferrari takes high performance fuel, right? You got to pay a lot. So you have to put the good stuff in your body if you want the performance coming out of your body, all right? So uh, that nutrition take place on Saturday. The last thing that I have for you, all right, besides go onto that swim swam post and drop your RSA love on that video. Um, it's pretty awesome to be featured on swim swam with your own post. So like if you see yourself, tag yourself in it, or if you see a friend, uh, shout them out, or just like say like, hey, RSA rocks. Uh, so go find that post, do it to it. And this week's challenge is a unique one. It's going to be you being as creative as you can about swimming your choice of stroke on dry land. All right. So that is the challenge. All right. Is you swimming whatever stroke you want on dry land. Um, 
I had one entry from the Dolphin Group already today, and they made like a time lapse of them swimming freestyle, and it's pretty epic. Like, it looks pretty sweet. So if a dolphin can come up with that, I can only imagine what you guys can come up with. Like, coming from the girls that made a swim cap change colors out of a hat, I can only imagine what else you guys can come up with for this swimming on dry land challenge. So for this challenge, when you send it in, you guys can have your parents just email it to me. And as soon as I get it, I'm going to post it to the social media pages. It's not like going to be like a, a, a thing that we compile together, like our squat video or the cat toss challenge. Um, it's just going to go up as soon as you send it in. Uh, so get creative, um, be as funny as you want, as unique as you want, uh, just get, get the creative juices flowing. Uh, so take some time to do that and it'll be a fun way. We're also looking for something creative coming up this weekend. We're floating the idea out of giving every group a space of the RSA sidewalk to be able to go out and do some chalk art. Uh, at RSA and you guys can build on each other's drawings so you guys won't be all out there at the same time because social distancing we don't want anybody to get sick uh, but you can bring your own chalk out there and uh, you'll have a space designated for like the Cubia group and you can make like a cool drawing um, just because like RSA is the thing that brings us all together um, so we can make it at least a little bit beautiful while we're out of the pool um, that's all that I have for you guys today. Do you guys have any questions? Any questions about the challenge, Dylan? What if, what if we swim in the creek for a challenge? I don't really consider creeks dry land, uh, but maybe next week we'll have a creek challenge. Solid. We'll, it will make it like a find a body of water challenge to swim in. So that like Sarah can find a puddle or something to jump in. <laughs> I found a stream in my backwoods. Will that work? You found a shoe in your backwoods. A stream. A stream? Yes. Same. Would work hypothetically for next week's challenge if we did that. Can I use my math? Can you do some math? No, can I use my bathtub because there's no water near me? If there is no water in the tub, then yes. But as soon as there's water in the tub, no. No, no, for the other one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, I yeah. can jump off. Dry land. Sophia, yeah. what was your question? Sophia? Yeah. What was your question? I didn't say anything. Oh, I saw that you unmuted yourself, and I was like, oh, Sophia's ready to go. No, I just Maybe. had an accident, I think. I don't know. I'm mad. All right, any other questions? Adam. When you said find a body of water, I thought you were going to say find a body in water. <laughs> That's called the 911 challenge. <laughs> yeah. How quickly can you dial three numbers? All right. Any other questions? All right. Well, 